Hey guys! So today we are going on a road trip to a little town in Western Australia's southwest region called Bailing Up. Bailing Up is about a two and a half hour drive from Perth and it's situated at the entrance to the Blackwood River Valley. We've never been to Bailing Up before so we're really excited to explore the region and see what it has to offer. The forecast for the next few days down there is heavy rain with a chance of hail so I think it's going to be a very cosy couple of days. Um, so the car is all packed, we're ready to head off and we are going to head down by Mandra and stop at a new entirely plant-based cafe that just recently opened that we're really excited to try. So let's get going. One, two, three, four. Concentrate your mind Fix it upon whatever you like I'm drunk on a memory back when we were just seventeen Holding Lake Michigan with your eyes on me I am my hands deep in the pockets of my blue. So we've arrived at our accommodation in Bailing Up We've chosen to stay at the Bailing Up Highview Chalets and we chose this accommodation not only because the owners are vegan but because they have rescue farm animals here on the property. We've already had a little look through our chalet but now it's time to show you guys around. So this is our open plan living area with beautiful big windows. And this here is our beautiful little bedroom that has incredible views to wake up to. Wait until you guys see this. Look at this incredible view and the stunning rolling green hills. There's even a tiny little bit of sunlight peeking through, but that's not the best bit. Look at who we had to greet us on arrival here at the chalets. Remember some days driving down to Dallas in the summer haze. Sugar, I was up when you walked off the plane, standing like an angel with your suitcase. Good morning, guys. We had a great first night's sleep in our little chalet last night. The first thing I did this morning was come out here onto the deck to say hello to the animals who look like most of them are down the hill at the moment doing some grazing. Today's forecast is heavy rain with a chance of hail so at the moment it's kind of just drizzling but we're really hoping that it clears up so that we can go down and see the animals and then head into town and have a little look around as well. come down to the main strip in Bailing Up Town to have a little look around. It's quite a small strip with it being a small country town. It's most well known for its arts and crafts, local handcrafted pottery, herbal products, open gardens and festivals. You'll also see scarecrows scattered about the town which Bailing Up is very well known for and we've spoken to a local who has told us that on a day in April each year they decorate the entire town with scarecrows just like these guys here. Oh, 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 this is the good life. Oh, 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 oh,
knows me knows that I love all things natural and herbal products and on the main strip in Bailing Up Town we found this shop called Tinderbox that sells heaps of herbal products and I found this cacao maca chai that we bought and I'm so excited to try it. So we've come to a spot called the Old Cheese Factory. Now it was previously a cheese factory, but these days it's a place that houses a ton of arts and crafts. There is so much stuff here. There's heaps of different rooms that appear to have kind of like different themes like timber, Australiana, antiques, souvenirs, pottery. There is so much stuff and it just keeps on going. It's actually quite overwhelming once you start looking through it all because there is just so much stuff. But it's a really cool little spot and it's somewhere that I definitely recommend because I think there is something here for everyone. So we were just on our way to Bridgetown to get some supplies when we came across an entrance to a place called Golden Valley Tree Park. The park is actually heritage listed and is Western Australia's largest arboretum. Now if you're anything like me, I had no clue what an arboretum was. Arboretum. Arboretum. But after doing some research, I found out that it's an outdoor living tree museum. So we figured while the skies are still relatively clear for now, we'd take a look around and see what it's got to offer before we continue on to Bridgetown. Oh my god, the sheep! We managed to find an IGA in Bridgetown and we stocked up on the important supplies, some wheat bix. We're just down in the yard at the moment giving the animals a little snack. These two beautiful kangaroos here are Bindi and Ivy. They were orphan joeys but they were rescued and they're now going to live out their days here at the chalets. These two absolutely love wheat bix. So this cow here is either Huey or Mickey, I can't remember the name, um, but he is a bobby calf which means that he was saved from the dairy industry. Again, many people don't know that male calves that are born into the dairy industry are slaughtered because there's no use for them, they don't produce milk, um, but luckily this beautiful cow um, was saved and he now gets to spend his days relaxing at the chalet. Morning guys! So we've woken up to another beautiful day here in Bailing Up. There's something so special about being able to wake up and enjoy this view, enjoy a warm drink on the deck and say good morning to the animals. Today's plan, we are going to head to a place called Blackwood Daily Grind that was recommended to us by a local for some really good vegan options. And then if the weather holds up, we're going to uh, do another trail of the Golden Valley Tree Park and maybe try and source some fresh fruit and veg as well because we've heard that the quality down here is really amazing. Um, and then I guess we'll see where else the day takes us.
So our plans for today didn't quite go to plan because it's been raining on and off all day. But that's okay because we have found ourselves at a place called The Cidery in Bridgetown. The Cidery is the home of traditional cider and the team here have been handcrafting ciders since 1998 using pink lady apples grown at a place called Newton Orchards in Manjimup which is not too far from here. All of the ciders are 100% natural, completely sugar free and have no preservatives or flavour enhancers and they are so delicious that we may or may not have bought a heap to take home with us. So that's a wrap for bailing up. We're just heading out of town now. We're actually driving to another destination which will be featured in my next vlog. So stay tuned for that one. If you enjoyed this vlog, I'd be super grateful if you liked and shared it. And of course, if you'd like to keep up to date with content to come in the future, don't forget to hit subscribe. And I'll also be writing some blog posts about bailing up as well, which you can check out over on my website, which I've put in the description box, along with my Instagram handle if you would like to follow me on there as well. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.